I think Top and Wedding's going to prove to many audiences that this isn't a niche film. It's a film that deserves to be treated like a mainstream Australian film, despite the fact that it's got a different gaze. That's not something that should be diminished. I'm Miranda Tapsell. I'm the co-writer, actor and producer of Top End Wedding and I'm a proud Larrakia Tiwi woman. And my name is Wayne Blair and I'm the director of Top End Wedding. So Top End Wedding is about two people that are about to be married, but before they get married, this young girl has to go and find her mum. And on the journey to find her mum, she finds out a few more things about herself. You didn't think to tell me all this when I called to say we were coming up to get married? Top End Wedding is incredibly unique because as a rom-com, I feel like it is set in a place that not many people have been to before. And I mean, lots of rom-coms are set in really urban landscapes, so New York and London. So I think it was really refreshing for not only a Sundance audiences to see, but also Australians who haven't visited their own backyard. So we're gonna go and find it. I first met Miranda when I was invited out to NIDA to speak to some of the students. And I just spoke to them and we just sort of, you know, just uh, communicated about how, what's it like to be an actor, etc. And then I think when Miranda graduated, I cast her in a Bell Shakespeare education show. And then I think the Sapphires came about. We were casting the Sapphires and uh, Miranda wasn't the first name on the list, to be honest. But when she did that bloody audition for Cynthia, it was like, oh my God. Miranda could do this. <laughs> and she wanted that role of Cynthia and her best friend Shari wanted that role of Kay. Like you could just see. And they probably helped each other with their auditions. And then uh, we did the Sapphires. A few years later from that, Goalpost Films and Miranda and Josh approached me with this script. I was really grateful that my co-writer Josh Tyler really opened up that opportunity to me. He had told me he'd been up to my hometown Darwin and he'd been across the territory and that really surprised me because I hadn't met many people in Melbourne or Sydney that had been up there before. And then we noticed that uh, a great deal of our favourite films were rom-coms and uh, all of a sudden Josh came up to me and said, why don't we set a rom-com up in the NT? And I'd often given up on myself like when I attempted to write something, I go Oh, that's rubbish, I'm, I'm not gonna try that. But Josh was the one that said to me, you know, I think you know writing better than you think you do, so you need to trust your gut with that. You know the territory, you know rom-coms, so let's do this together. I was really emotional coming back home because understood what that was going to mean for lots of people in the audience, and I really wanted the, the film to reflect the territory that they knew as well. Dad? Hello. What's well, that thing? Say hello to your grandfather. Yeah. Grandpa, Grumpy Gramps. The script that Miranda and Josh provided to the production was ambitious, but it was excitingly ambitious because it was a road movie to an extent as these two people search for a mum. So when we went to these places in the Northern Territory like Jabiru, Catherine, uh, Tiwi Islands and Darwin and Kakadu in the space of uh, six weeks, uh, we had to be very prepared. And we knew that each of those places has a different identity. And Murray Louis, the cinematographer of the film, he shot many documentaries up in Northern Territory and it's a different kind of light, of course. He was paramount to bringing the personality of each location out into the world. Hold on to your munchies because it's about to get crunchy. Whoa. Working with Indigenous communities in any film, whether it be a feature film or short film, you just have to get it right. So when you enter a community, you, you don't talk about the film. You need to earn trust from the get-go. And I think there was about three or four occasions where Miranda and I would go to every community and sit down and just have a cup of tea. And it wasn't really talking about the film, but I think people need to get to know you to earn trust. Everyone was very warm and generous to us and to our producing team, so it was a, a joy. And all the knowledge of the Jawan, the Mirai, the Larrakia, the Tiwi, all grounded the film, I think, and oh, so uh, we couldn't have really made this film without their voice humming underneath it. Tone in Top End Wedding is very important uh, because it was a rom-com and because then there's some beautiful moments between family at the, at the end of the film, we found that in the edit, I believe. And so Chris Plummer, the editor of the film, who did Taika Waititi's Boy, he was absolutely wonderful. But uh, it, it, yeah, it is, a, it is a balance. It is a sort of you know, sky wire. You're sort of balancing yourself on all the time. When you're hurting, where do you go looking? I think with Indigenous films, um, it, it feels good to 
put this in the shelf and just say, okay, we made this, you mob, let's make something deadlier now. It means so much to me that uh, this film gives just young women permission to know what they want out of their life and demand for the relationship that they believe that they deserve. And I just hope that uh, there are many young women across Australia that bring their girlfriends over, have pizza, wear face masks and watch this film and just swoon knowing that this is something that, that could happen to them. And, and I think everyone deserves a little bit of magic. So I'm so excited for uh, Australian audiences to see Top End Wedding. It comes out on May 2, Mother's Day weekend. Make sure you bring your mum.